welcome back. We're here to do your update. I'm looking at your reading and I'm like, okay, look, something could be making you, um, you're looking at your energy, but I do feel there's this passionate experience. I'm just noticing my hair. It's like really irritating me. <laughs> look, okay, you've got the sacral chakra card. This Mars is going to go retrograde at the end of the month, which does make sense. We had Mercury retrograde. You guys are feeling a little bit zapped and I feel it's almost like, you're trying to pull in, you know, and it does feel very psychic in nature. It really does feel in a directional sense that you're looking to Gaia, you're looking to source, and you're asking yourself the question, where to from here? Um, some of you also, and I keep seeing this image of family, and it's like wanting to reconnect, wanting to have a tribe around you, wanting to have people um, that are there to support you and understand you. And you feel kind of like you've been left out in the cold and you feel like there's some things that need adjusting and transforming. Now, I do feel you guys are actually assisting you and they're saying, hey, it's in your DNA. Um, you know, show the world what you're made of because you do have the energy source, passion and power. And I feel this brand new vibration of you is coming through. Something might have made you a little bit in the ebbs and flows of between anger and passivity. Uh, but I do feel it's going to pick up. I, I feel some of you feel that you've addressed something a little too late. I actually don't think it's so. I feel it's more um, to do with the vibration of where you feel. It's like, you know, there's a bit, there's a bit of pill to swallow, so to speak. And um, you could be feeling as though, uh, you know, the, the, the one that got away, the ship that got away, the opportunity. But I, I, I just feel it's temporary. I feel it's a mindset shift, but I do feel um, you're going to turn your pain into power. You're going to turn it into lemonade. So you're turning lemons into lemonade and you're having a transformation. Now, there is going to be something to do with romantic interest for some of you that a conversation is going to come through um, very differently than it has before. But I also feel you're looking at your genuine energy and where you put your energy in your own personal life. You're reviewing how you do it. But I also feel there is a notion to do with romance here, and it can be wanting to see this individual the way they used to be, that soft, gentle, um, you know, can be a masculine approach regardless of what, um, you know, what sex you are. It does feel that this is more, uh, per, you know, wanting to be able to communicate with people, wanting to have that support system. I do feel for some of you there is a male friend that is going to communicate with you. And they could be giving you some sense of advice to do with the circumstance that you are dealing with. I'm also seeing some of you actually um, getting finances sorted. And the finances can be, um, you know, seeking a professional. Uh, but it does feel that it's going to go in your favour. And whatever this is, whomever you're receiving this advice from, I feel it's taking you back on your path. I do feel some of you are misunderstanding um, a circumstance. This can be a cross wire between you, family, or love. And I feel you're trying to, oh, I'm hearing the term calm your farm, and it can be your guide saying stress less, stress less, stress less. They're saying calm down, it's okay. And I don't feel it's anything to do with divine timing. I just feel um it's going to be okay. I, I feel that whatever your anxiousness is, whatever that concern is, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, should I have done that? I feel it's going to be okay. For some of you, it could be this delay in communication. Um, also a delay in needing to maybe hear from a person in order to make a judgment. I also feel um, you may hear that um, somebody was unwell. But I also feel between you and love at the moment, there can be some stress. I do feel it's going to pick up. I don't feel it's remaining this way. But you're almost like, you know, um, just be careful with your energy this month, Gem, because I feel it's going, uh, it's, it's doing two numbers on you, right? You're clearing a lot of the old frequency, okay? Great time for a detox, but you're also getting to a point where you're owning your power and then feeling like this recluse and getting to a space you're going, oh, crap, why did I do that? And, you know, my guides are saying there's a neutral, stay neutral, be in the middle there. Um, 
walk your truth and stand by it and be in that vibration and then let go and allow the rest to unfold because I feel don't don't run that's what I'm hearing don't run um have courage have the courage but don't run some of you are getting paranoid <laughs> you're getting paranoid oh my god you know it does it feels like oh my gosh how is this going to look is it going to be okay and you don't quite know how to look at it at the circumstance that is challenging you and so you want to drastically and suddenly make a decision but the cat's out of the bag that's all they're saying the cat is out of the bag it's a bit too late I feel there's a nervousness because there is your look I do feel you're gonna get news I really do this can be from a romantic interest in a sense of a response it can be a breakthrough with a job. Um, I do feel some disputes around you, but I feel the key to the disputes is to understand um, that you are going to, during the month, be in ebbs and flows of frustrated and then super neutral. So if you can just ride the wave and know that going into any circumstance, be it it's po positive or negative, I feel you're actually going to get the best out of it. And to really guide yourself through in that format. I do feel, um, oh my God, wow. Um, some of you are like, it could be a person you're dealing with, and it's like failure to launch. I don't know, Matthew McConaughey movie, failure to launch. And you're thinking, is this person ever going to, you know, jump, ship, grow? Uh, you know, so you're looking at a little bit negatively, like it's not going to get anywhere, but it's, you know, they're saying detach from that. I also feel there could be a circumstance for those of you that have children. Um, I do really feel a major conversation with family, major conversation relating to, okay, what is my purpose? What do I need to do? Um, if you have been alone and feeling misunderstood, this is so relevant. Live your soul, not your role. It's like what has been happening, uh, you know, is... You're having this epiphany. It's like, wow, where is everyone? All right. Who are you separate to everyone? Live your soul, not your role. This was such a bit of pill to swallow in part of my ascension path. I was like, what do I do now? And then I was like, turn the cup into gold. And I feel the lack actually was filled by potential. And it was like, wow, I've got all this time on my hands. What am I going to do from here? And I went through a separation. Um, my child moved out and I was in lack mentality. And I was like, okay, replace it with a different view. What would you like to do now? What is your soul? And I think that was one of the best things that ever happened to me because I had a revelation of, of pure freedom, of pure choice, which all of us, be it we're coupled or single, directly have. And to actually invest in that inside yourself and know that we don't have to be the fixer, we don't have to be the repairer, we don't have to be the negotiator, we can actually say, okay, what do I need to be today? I feel this is a very key message for you. And I feel follow our transits because Mars will be going retro and you're going to have seven months to work that out. So don't necessarily feel you're in a rush, penny little, the sky's falling down, nothing's ever going to go according to plan. Look at it as a fairy ride and ride that wave. Love you and leave you. If you want a private booking, you can go to the link directly below. We will check in mid-month and stay tuned for the astrology updates as well as the twin flame. Take care, beautifuls. Wish the best.